know I have said to many people that I'm not making a part two on platform game, but I finally figured out the rest of the codes. So here it goes. First of all, in part one, the only thing you need to know is how to make the character, the ground, and the restart box, and the actions for the character and restart box, and that's pretty much all you need to know. Forget about the VCAM and all that stuff, and forget about the health bar that I said, but as long as you know how to do this, then that's perfectly fine. So, with what I'm going to be able to, what I'm going to teach you is you'll be able to make something like this, where there's instructions, play, then there's a level, goes to a second level, an object that kills you. And one more thing. A the green portal over there doesn't make me go to the next level, but it'll make me go to like the next one. And then so on. So start off, open up action script two. You should already know how to make uh a ground you should already know how to make a ground and you should know how to make the character and the restart box but the first thing we're going to need to do is make a home screen to do that, we're going to need two. Uh, we're going to need two buttons. Well, total, we're going to need four buttons. We're going to need a button that says play, a button that says rules, a button that says back, and we're going to need a button that says main menu. Main menu is going to go at the very end. The back button is going to be on frame 2, but these are the first two we're going to need. Now, to make a button, you're going to have to make a shape, so like that. Make it different colors, so I'm going to make that the, ra the uh, radial green. And then what you have to do is you have to highlight it, right click, convert symbol button registration on the middle click OK then you double click on it and now you're in you're inside this where it says up over down and hit for the up layer right play <coughs> change the color to white so you would write play for the uh, up layer if you hit F6 you go into the overlayer for the overlayer change this color you could change it to like blue or what I like to do which CS5 you could do it in I don't know if you could do it in CS4 is if you go in here with the gradients bring this around over there so it gets a little darker so it starts off like that and then it goes like that and you'll see how that'll look then hit F6 again for down click on the play delete the play then hit F6 again then you double click out of it if we go to control test movie that's what it looks like and then we click on it like that so that's the button and now we're gonna need actions for the button so for the actions you're gonna type in on open parentheses release close parentheses and this will be in the description Squ uh, open squiggly black bracket enter go to capital A and D capital S T O P open parentheses three close parentheses then just do the auto format and the check and that's what we're gonna have to do for that button but I already have I already made a button beforehand over here and you're gonna need a rules button which is pretty much the same exact thing so you're gonna have to make two buttons one that says play one that says rules and 
So for the action, I already told you what this one was. And then for the rules button, you want to type in the exact same thing, except you're going to change that 3 to a 2. Alright, now after you do that, you're going to hit F6 twice, so you make 3 new frames, 1, 2, 3, and go to the third frame and click backspace so you delete everything, and go to the second frame and also click backspace. Now, once you do that, you're going to have to make your third button that says back. So, I already made a button, see so look. If I go into it, up, over, down, hit. And what you're going to need for the back button, go to actions, write the same exact thing, on release, go to and stop. Except instead of three, make that a one. And then, you know, check it. And now for this layer, this is where your first level is going to be. So I'm just making the very first level very simple. There's that. There's my character. <coughs> and the restart box. And once again, you should already know how to make the character. And you should already have the code for it. But I'll have the code in the description anyways. And got to name the ground, name the character, <coughs> and now before you put in the X and Y coordinates for the character, move the character kind of up in the corner over here. And you may have to move the ground with it because uh, there are the glitches of the character going through the ground. What you're going to have to do is have it up in this corner because every single level the character is going to spawn in the exact same spot, which is going to be up here, which is the best spot for it to spawn. So just get the XY coordinates, which you should already know how to do this. So 57.80. I'm writing down 57.80. You write down whatever it's at. For you. And now once you have that, before we test the movie, make another layer. Name it Stop. Meanwhile, you're right, you might as well name this layer Game. So we got game and stop. Go to stop. Uh, you're going to click on the blank layer over here. Right click. Click actions. And then you're going to type in stop, open, close parentheses, semicolon. The one with the dot and the comma, not the two dots. Check it. And now if we go to test movie, we have play and rules. Click on rules. We have this. Go back. Click play. And then we have the first level. Now, after you're going to do that, before we do anything, make another layer and just name it BG for background. Now, for the background, zoom out around that much and make a background. I'm just going to do make it a radial background like that. And I'm just going to tilt it. And you want to make it really big. And then once you do that, just lock that layer and uh, turn the layer off so you can't see it. Because if we test the movie, even though it's turned off, in the movie it won't be turned off. So now that we have that, <coughs> uh, we're going to have to make, for the home screen, a title. So make a title. I already have one. I just named it flash video game and go to the next part of the tutorial 
and I'm going to show you what we're going to do after that.